All right team, Bren here checking in for you for my friends over at paddlinglife.com. We're here at the Paddle Expo in Strasbourg, France, and I'm gonna show you some of the new products that the brands I work with have been cooking up. Right now, we're gonna head over to Piranha and show you some really sick new kayak designs. And then we're gonna head back over to Palm Equipment for a whirlwind tour with the marketing manager, Paul Robertson, showing you all of the new products that Palm have added to the range this year. Let's go. We're here at Piranha checking out all of the new products. One of the most exciting things for me is this colorway on the firecracker. Look at how beautiful that is. With the purple anodized handles and that new um, Contiga colorway, I think it looks amazing. The firecracker obviously debuted here last year at the Paddle Sports Show as a prototype. It's now finished and looking absolutely amazing. I personally love this kayak for class three, four runs on my local rivers because it just changes how I interact with it. It opens up yeah, new avenues for me to enjoy and play and really get the most out of the river. I've got a new promo coming out for the Firecracker soon, so stay tuned for that because we got some good tricks in this kayak this summer. It has been a long time since we had a brand new freestyle kayak in the lineup. We've partnered and collabed with Gigi, who is obviously an expert at making really good freestyle kayaks and a leader on that side of the industry. We've partnered with him. This is an early prototype. It will change before it's finished, but it's already looking really good. I personally am really excited about this. Number one, for myself to have a dedicated freestyle kayak again. And number two, for all the kids, groms, people coming up that want to freestyle, to have a Piranha freestyle kayak again really rounds out the whole lineup. And I'm stoked to show you guys what this can do in a few months time. Hi, I'm Andy from Piranha, and this is our Rip R Evo. We got great success with our original Rip Our Evo last year at the World Championships in Augsburg, particularly in the men's competition, where we got gold, silver and bronze. What we've done since then is we've spent a lot of time in development. We've taken it to hydrodynamic test tanks to work out dry coefficient. We've been working uh, extensively with the British and the German slalom teams to make a super focused, super fast boat for kayak cross. This boat we're super happy with, really excited, and especially last weekend where we won the gold in the men's with Joe Clark and the gold in the ladies with Kimberly as well. We're super stoked. This boat is fast, fun, check it out. So from that project and from projects including the Ripper 2 and the Firecracker, what we've done is we're trying to take the lessons we've learned there about maneuverability, about unweighting the bow for being able to pivot turn. We're introducing this, this is the reactor. There's a brand new boat launching next year, early next year. What we've done with this is we've got a radical bow and stern rocker profile. It's taken all of the pressure away from the ends. I can power into an eddy, do an upstream sweep stroke and drive out of the bottom. Um, this boat is beautiful, it skips, it carves. I can pivot back spin the boat on the spot and go in a new direction. Um, I'm really excited to see what our team and what the paddlers are going to be able to do and how this boat's going to help progress the sport. Okay, we're here at uh, the Power Sport Show with the PH stand. We've got the Composite Virgo. The Virgo in plastic was our best selling sea kayak for the last two years. Best selling kayak overall from all of our brands, actually. Uh, and people who wanted a lighter version can now have it. This is the Composite Virgo. Uh, we've also got in the same ultra light construction, which is also brand new, um, the Volan 158. This has been a really awesome popular sea kayak for us simply because it sits between our already known and established Cetus and Aries designs. You can do some distance but you can do some play on the way. This is 14 and a half kilograms in our ultralight construction. It's insanely light. If you want something that you can easily pick up, put on the car, go have a great time and then carry it off at the at the end, this is the one. Uh, we'll do four sizes in the sea kayak, so there's a bigger 162 come in, there's a 160 that's about my size, this is a good kind of small medium size in the 158, and there's also a 152. And then we've got the Leo, this has been out for a year or so, uh, it's just gaining in popularity now, people are loving the 16 foot design which is in between an expedition kayak and a day weekend kayak, if you're not sure whether you're going to do longer trips or shorter trips, you can do both. So that's the Leo. There we are. We've got two canoes here, the Ranger 162 and the Ranger 149. The Ranger 162 has a skeg. That sounds insane, it's not. It's a great idea for whether you're people getting into the sport and 
want to paddle a canoe in a straight line without having to take weeks to learn the skills, you can just shortcut that challenge and get right into it, get st straight into having adventures. Doesn't matter if there's a weight imbalance, if you've got a heavier paddler in the front, or if both of you can't quite keep in time, or if you're a solo paddler and you're not sure how to do that J-stroke stuff. Uh, just get the skeg down, have a great time. If you're a more advanced paddler, you can use that to balance out the effects of wind and waves, and rather than moving gear around, having to move yourself around, just basically flick a switch and everything's right. Have a great time with that one. Uh, the Ranger 149's got some fancy new woodwork in it. We've got a really nice new kneeling fort in that. It's got a bit of a dip in the middle of it, so if you're uh, sat on that kneeling fort and you need to edge, you're not going to slide across the boat and lose control. You'll stay planted in that kneeling fort and still be able to throw the boat around and put it where you want it. Hey folks, Paddle Sports Show 2023, welcome. It's Paul from Palm Equipment. I'm going to show you around some of the new gear we've done. Follow me. Oh, what's this? It's an award-winning PFD with a Tika brand new women's platform. Wraps around, hinged, works for a multitude of sizes of paddlers, but it's only three sizes that people need to have in the shops. Lovely little features, super, super comfortable. It fits perfectly. See that in spring. Follow me to the next one. Oh, super soft new fuse jacket. This is a four layer, two way stretch fabric, really breathable, really waterproof, and it's super soft, which means we get an athletic fit. That's the fuse jacket, free riders, free stylers, get to know that one. Oh, you don't get the yellow label without knowing the right people. Right, this is the Vibram Sold Gradient 3.0. Brand new proprietary sole from Palm, worked up with our main man, Bren Orton, who's behind that camera right now. We've made it have higher traction on wet surfaces in the front, better grip area with the traction lugs in the bottom and oh, oh, oh dual density midsole and then all the tough upper this thing is going to be the best river shoe you have ever worn next brand new cobra sling dyneema super lightweight packs into your pfd keep that one out of the way keep it ready to do those sling work this way V paddles. People in the UK know these ones, but may not know, know internationally. We've got some brand new touring paddles, the Fara, the Vanda. This is air core technology, so it's pre-preg carbon, and then we put these fancy air pockets in the back. Super light, 850 grams, nice connector from Kayak Sport. And then we've done some super, 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 super die sub designs in the glass version as well. Next up, fuse suit, same fabric. PFAS free as well, this fabric. These are the few suits. This is gonna be for stand-up paddle boarders, ocean skis, sea kayakers, anyone who doesn't need a twin waist essentially. Really super active, athletic, keeping it close. Really funky little details like here on the bottom. Elastication on the wear, so keep everything really light. Of course, we use YKK Aquasil zips. They're, why wouldn't you? They're the best. And it's also got a takeoff hood, so you can either zip it up, get it closed down, or take that hood off. Completely gives a different feel to the suit. Men's and women's design in our fancy navy and mid blue. This is going to be a winner. It's such a lovely fabric. And I think, oh, one more. Round this side of the stand. Okay. It's a rainy day, you're out and about. Oh dear, the way, weather's changing a little bit. So what I need to put on is my brand new Tora two and a half layer recycled jacket. Really, really light. It's a great packable waterproof. Of course, it is a paddling jacket, so you want slightly fatter wrists, so they're gonna get a good seal as well. But you can wear this walking, hiking, biking, and of course, for your paddling, really nice pumpkin colorway. We've got a pine for women and a navy as well. Super, super duper new Tora jacket. That's a snapshot of what we're doing at Palm. As always, we've got more in the wheel going around and happening, but thanks for visiting us. Hope you guys have a good time out on the water. See you soon.